Burkina Faso junta leader inaugurated as nation's president. Burkina Faso's junta leader Lt. Col. Paul Henri Sandagu Damiba has been sworn in as president Wednesday, less than a month after mutinous soldiers seized control off the West African country in a coup. J-A-Q-U-E-V-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E, Ivory Coast, Burkina Faso's junta leader Lt. Col. Paul Henri Sandagu Damiba has been sworn in as president Wednesday, less than a month after mutinous soldiers seized control of the West African country in a coup. The inauguration ceremony at the Constitutional Court was broadcast nationally. Addressing the nation on state television after taking the oath, Damiba paid tribute to the security forces and the country's population who he said have been facing threats from extremism for more than six years. I swear in front of the people of Burkina Faso and on my honor, to preserve and respect, to uphold and defend the constitution, fundamental acts and the law, to do everything to guarantee justice for all the inhabitants of Burkina Faso, he said. Our country has always been strong during storms. That's why, these tough times must be for us an opportunity to get to better horizons. Damiba seized power promising to secure the war-torn country from growing jihadi violence linked to al-Qaeda and the Islamic State group that's killed. Thousand Sand displaced more than 1.5 million people. Since taking control, Damiba has met with security forces, civil society, diplomats and politicians, but hasn't set a timeline for the transition to elections, something the international community has said must be done as soon as possible. When military regimes take power the return to democratic, civilian rule can be lengthy and uncertain, say conflict experts. Military regimes will often delay the transition back to civilian rule and will work to retain some form of political influence in the background in order to ascertain that their interests are maintained, said Alexander Raymakers, senior Africa analyst at Verisk Maplecroft, a risk consultancy. Considering the deteriorating security situation in Burkina Faso, the new military-led government will likely argue that the security situation will not allow for a comprehensive electoral process to be held, thus delaying a return to civilian rule, he said. Even though Damibas had wide popular support since taking control, some locals say they don't support the Constitutional Council's decision to let him assume the presidency because he wasn't democratically elected. We don't understand this at all, how things can go like this. The Constitutional Council inaugurates presidents who come to power through elections. It's like they're saying it's legal to have a coup in Burkina Faso, Omar Sisse a resident in the Sahel Shard hit Dori Town told the AP by phone. One European diplomat who was not authorized to speak to the media, told the AP that if they had been invited to the ceremony, European countries would have isn't lower-ranking officials rather than ambassadors to make a point that the constitution wasn't respected. The international community has condemned the coup. The United States paused $450 million in assistance for its Millennium Challenge Corporation, an independent U.S. agency that provides grants in assistance at O countries that meet standards for good governance. Within the continent, the West African Regional Bloc, known as ECOWAS and the African Union, have suspended Burkina Faso, but stopped short of imposing sanctions. They're calling for the immediate release of former President Rock Mark Christian. Kaboraho's been under house arrest in the capital, Ouagadougou, since his ouster. Still most people, worried by the conflict with extremists, are hoping Damiba will be able to stem the violence. But the 41-year-old leader has yet to articulate a plan for how he will secure Burkina Faso better than the previous regime. Some mutinous soldiers not authorized to speak to the media said the junte willing to work with anyone who can help in their fight against the jihadis, which could also include negotiating with the groups but only after military gains are made. Recently there have been some successes. Earlier this month more than 40 jihadis were killed during joint operations with France and Burkina Faso's army, the French military said in a statement. France has several thousand troops in West Africa's Sahel region, but until now has had minimal involvement in Burkina. Faso compared with Niger or Mali, 